Welcome to the Agricultural Research Institute of the Council of Agriculture. History. The Agricultural Research Institute was established in 1895. It was changed to the Taiwan Agricultural Research Institute, or TARI, in 1945. On July 1, 1999, it was operated under the supervision of the Council of Agriculture of the Executive UN. Organization. Within the Institute, there are 10 research divisions. Agronomy. Horticulture. The Agricultural Chemistry Research. Plant Pathology. Applied Zoology. Agricultural Engineering. Agricultural Economics. Plant Germplasm. Technical Service. Farm Management. The Floricultural Research Center. And the Guanxi Substation. In addition, there are the Jiayi Agricultural Experimental Station and the Fengshan Tropical Horticultural Experimental Station. The administrative offices include the Secretariat, Personnel, Accounting, and Government Ethics. Among the 251 clerical staff, there currently are 206 research scientists and 177 of them, about 86 percent, hold Ph.D. or master's degrees. In addition, there are 302 technical service staff. Location. The headquarters of the ARI was originally set up in Taipei. Due to a lack of space for expansion and a concern over environmental pollution, the institute was relocated to Wufeng, Taichung in December 1977. The current total land area at the Wufeng headquarters is 145 hectares. Of that, 17 hectares are occupied by buildings and structures designated for administration, research laboratories, offices, soil exhibition, a quarantine lab for natural enemies of insect pests and other related uses. The experimental farm occupies 128 hectares, which is designed with a complete irrigation system. It is considered the best in Taiwan for agricultural research. The Jiayi Agricultural Experimental Station is located in a suburb of Jiayi City and occupies 40.9 hectares. In addition, it has the Chiko and Kugang farms. The Fengshan Tropical Horticultural Experimental Station is located in the northeastern district of Fengshan, Kaohsiung County, and occupies 64.3 hectares. The Floricultural Research Center was newly established in 2001. It's located in Kugang, Yunlin County, and occupies 21 hectares. The Guanxi substation, which is located in Guanxi, Xinju, occupies 14 hectares. The ARI conducts research, both theoretically and practically, to improve the quality and quantity of agronomic and horticultural crops in genetics, breeding, germplasm, physiology, tissue culture, biotechnology, soils and fertilizers, plant pest control, agricultural economics, and agricultural machineries. Over the last hundred years, the ARI's research accomplishments have made a remarkable contribution to the development of rural economy in Taiwan. Agronomy Research Major research efforts include crop variety selection and improvement, improvements in cultivation technologies, and the investigation of the relationship between crops and their environment to enhance research efficiency. So far, more than 30 rice varieties have been bred. The Tainung No. 67 once occupied 75% of cultivation acreage for Japonica rice and still occupies 60% of the production acreage. The release of the Tainung No. 71, the Ichuan Aroma Rice, with excellent quality and taro aromas, 
is timely in meeting the challenge of joining the WTO. For dryland crops, 10 varieties of sweet potatoes have been released, including the Tainung number 57, number 66, number 71, number 72, etc. The Tainung number 71 is a vegetable sweet potato variety, and the Tainung number 72, a golden sweet potato, containing high carotene content and was recently released. Today they are the main varieties of sweet potato cultivated in Taiwan. In addition, the Tainung number 351 and number 1, both for feeding purposes, and a green corn variety Tainung number 4 for table use were released. Two large pod-sized peanut varieties, the Tainung number 5 and number 6, have been released with high popularity. For special crops, the Institute has released yam varieties. The Tainung number 1, number 2, and the Shensao Tainung number 1 both are known for their high quality and yield. Furthermore, a medicinal herb germplasm nursery was established for studies in the collection, identification, propagation, and utilization of medicinal crops. Horticultural Research the major research activities concentrate on the improvement of varieties and cultivation techniques of fruit trees, vegetable and flower crops, and its post-harvesting techniques. Recently, the Institute released several temperate fruit cultivars, including the Peach Tainung No. 1, with low chill, early ripening, and low acid characteristics, and a pear, the Tainung No. 3, with an apple aroma. The pineapple Tainung number 4, number 6, number 11, number 13, number 16, number 17, number 18 and number 19 have been released. These cultivars together offer year-round harvesting to offer more choices for consumers. Tropical fruits such as the mango Tainung number 1 and number 2 the Indian Jujube Tainung No. 1, the Carambola Tainung No. 1 and No. 2, and the Papaya Tainung No. 2, No. 5 and No. 6 have also been released. The Papaya Tainung No. 2 is a favorite cultivar for the consumer and account for about 85% of planting area. For fruit cultivation, citrus healthy seedling propagation systems have been developed, Budwood's wax dipping for annual grafting pear production, net house cultivation for papaya production, and off-season production of wax apple and lychee to increase farmers' profits. For vegetable crops research, new cultivars, the Pai Chai Tainung No. 1 and the Amaranthus Tainung No. 1 and No. 2 are all heat tolerant and fast growing. And the Lufa Tainung No. 1, resistant to viral diseases, is able to maintain white flesh color after cooking. The main floriculture research focuses on breeding for stress tolerance, morphology, and the color of flowers, and the improvement of cultivation techniques. The Gladiolus Tainung No. 1, the Victoria, characterized by its novel pink color and longer vase life lasting 9 to 11 days, is currently a popular cultivar in Taiwan. In post-harvest handling, a treatment system for Oncidium cut flour named the Tari Pretreatment Tech has been developed and commercialized. The base life of the treated Oncidium could be prolonged up to eight days compared to five days for the untreated flowers. An inspection system for quality control of export flowers was established for competition in the international floral market. Efforts have also been made to develop technologies for improving post-harvest quality of mango, carambola, and lychee to promote the opportunity for exportation. Biotechnology research. The research includes tissue culture, gene cloning, gene formation for crop improvements, and attempts were also made to develop molecular markers for the construction of genetic maps to improve the crop's breeding efficiency. 
Mass propagation and somatic mutagenesis systems have been established for more than 40 valuable medicinal crops. Cell suspension culture systems have been developed for the production of the active ingredient Texol. A total of 22 pigment biosynthetic genes were cloned from soybean seed coats and these genes are in the process of being transferred to flower crops such as chrysanthemum, phalaenopsis and cymbidium orchids for developing new flower colors. Through agrobacterial or pollen electroporation methods, transgenetic plants such as the stem borer resistant rice, virus resistant turnip and ripe delaying bitter gourd have been obtained. In order to increase the transformation efficiency, an electroporator for ovule gene transformation was developed and patented in Germany and Korea. The National Core Facility for Biosafety Assessment of Transgenetic Crops, supported by the NSC and the COA, is under construction. The biosafety evaluation has been completed for the first transgenetic crop in Taiwan, the ring spot virus resistant papaya. Other transgenetic crops such as rice, potato, bitter gourd, broccoli, turnip, tomato and banana are now being tested. The Agricultural Chemistry Research Major research areas include soil survey and management, plant nutrition, beneficial microbes, agricultural environmental protection and processing and the chemistry of agricultural products. A soil and plant analysis center was set up to provide services for nutrient diagnosis and fertilizer recommendation. The Taiwan Soil Exhibition Building has a large collection and is used to exhibit soil resources in Taiwan. The Institute has developed a geo-information system to provide information for crop suitability, fertilization management, soil conservation and decision-making concerning land use. Models of water management in both paddy and upland are formulated to improve the irrigation efficiency. Currently, the Institute has improved nutrient diagnosis and fertilization techniques for the production of rice, vegetables and fruit crops. These techniques include real-time reconnaissance of soil fertility, fertigation on orchards, and speedy bulb development of flowers via hydroponics. In the application of beneficial microbes, a mass production system of VA microhizae has been transferred to the industry for commercial production. Contributing to recycling of agricultural waste, nitrogen-fixing bacteria, phosphate-solubilizing bacteria, protoelectric bacteria, and Pseudomonas sp were selected and enriched to promote compost quality and to be beneficial to crop growth. Studies on deodorization during composting process and developments of organic liquid fertilizers are also underway. As for agricultural environmental protection, a pictorial atlas of air pollution injury to vegetation has been published. Model simulation is carried out to evaluate the impact of global climate change on rice production and organic sea storage of arable land. Furthermore, it has been a long-term effort to analyze the quality of irrigation water. This institute also conducts research on analysis of crop quality, chemical composition and processing characteristics. Also, utilization of turmeric, millet brewing and polysaccharide of edible fungi are studied to increase the values of agricultural products. Plant Pathology Research The research includes disease survey, quarantine pathogen surveillance, pathogen identification and taxonomy, disease ecology and control studies. This institute has a disease diagnosis and pathogen identification center covering plant fungal, bacterial, viral and nematode pathogens. It is well known for their achievement in the identification of Phytophthora fungi and plant viruses. 
the Institute has developed standard indexing procedures for identifying important plant viruses. In addition, it has the largest virus anti-serum collection with over 50 safely preserved anti-sera. For decades, breeding has significantly contributed to an increase in rice production due to the effort of this division in developing screening techniques for disease resistance. Recently, the Institute has concentrated on developing non-conventional techniques for disease control. Various products such as phosphorus acid, sunflower oil mixtures, and formulated microbial agents have been successfully developed. The development of healthy seedling propagation systems are also important for disease control. This institute has developed virus-free certification schemes for oncidium orchids, asparagus beans, passion fruit, and garlic greens. These efforts were effective in suppressing virus epidemics and in improving crop productivity. These certification schemes will be beneficial to the development of healthy seeds and the seedling industry in our country. This institute is also well known in breeding new edible mushroom varieties and the development of culturing technologies. Over the years, many mushroom varieties include white mushrooms, Tainung selected number one, two, and three have been bred. Shiitake Tainung number one, King Oyster mushrooms, Maitake mushrooms, ABM and Blow It mushrooms. The success in developing the mushroom culturing techniques has received a wide international attention and contributed to the prosperity of the mushroom industry in Taiwan. Applied Zoology Research The research covers insect taxonomy, pest ecology and forecasting, the screening of insect resistant varieties, conservation, mass production, and the application of natural enemies, pest trapping with attractants, pesticide application and residue examination, and quarantine pest detection. Conducting long-term studies on taxonomy of crop insects and mites and their natural enemies has resulted in establishing an abundant and rich insect collection. Studies on the ecological habit, population dynamics, forecasting and potential damage caused by pests has made it possible to issue alerts to growers for making the proper decision for pest control. In the area of biological control, mass production and application techniques have been established for the lacewing, predaceous mites, aureus SPP, the ladybird beetle, parasitoids and many predators and parasitic natural enemies. Attractants, pheromone products, Colored sticky board and other insect trapping methods were developed to improve the effectiveness of non-chemical control. The establishment of a nationwide control system for important pests and the development of strategies for integrated pest management have provided a solid foundation of insect and mite control in Taiwan. The techniques of pesticide application was improved to increase control efficacy. Rapid assays for detecting pesticide residue and vegetables in fruits were developed and utilized at the market daily to ensure the consumer's health. In order to prevent the invasion of exotic pests through the importation of agricultural products, a nationwide detecting system was established for high-risk pests such as the fruit fly, fruit borer, thrips, scale insects, mites, etc. Agricultural Engineering Research The research includes the development of machinery for pest controls, for farm product harvesting and processing, and tests for new types of agricultural machines. These results have been fruitful with 16 patents granted from the Intellectual Property Office. Several patents were transferred to the agricultural machinery manufacturers. These machines have contributed significantly to agriculture in increasing production efficiency. The performance tests on the local made and the imported new type of agricultural machines has been very helpful to protect the farmer's interests.
The future work will focus on research of the efficient and safe spraying equipment, applicators for microorganism-based products, and applications of biomass energy. In addition, devices and equipment for the microenvironmental control and automation technology will be an important work. Crop Genetic Resources Research The Institute is responsible for the collection and preservation of domestic and foreign agronomic and horticultural germplasms. This institute cooperates with other research institutions, propagate and investigate those germplasms. The National Plant Genetic Resources Center, established in 1993, is equipped with state-of-the-art vaults for long, mid- and short-term seed storage. In addition, the Institute has also seven field repositories, one placed at ARI and the other six located in the north, central, and southern part of Taiwan. They are the Wan Shen Preserved Nursery, Mona, Feng San, Jiayi, Gugong Tropical and Subtropical Crop Nurseries and the Guanxi Citrus Nursery. The center is also responsible for exchanges of plant germplasms with other domestic or international academic institutions. Currently more than 500 species of crops and about 50,000 accessions are being preserved. A computerized database has also been established to provide valuable materials and information for plant breeders. Agricultural Economics Research Currently, this institute conducts research on farm production and marketing. Results of econometric analysis have provided strategies for the marketing of newly adopted fruits, such as the avocado and other main crop groups such as citrus, vegetables, cut flowers and guava. The institute also evaluates the impact of rice and fruit importation under WTO guidelines. These studies should provide a base for developing agricultural policies and strategies. Technical Service Technical Service is the contact unit for strengthening relationships with other public or private agricultural institutions. The major activities include the collection and exchange of knowledge-based agricultural information and reference materials, the edition and publication of scientific journals, agricultural magazines, annual reports and special publications, electronic agricultural newspapers and technical discs. In addition, the service unit is responsible for organizing training courses and providing consulting services for agricultural professionals from local and friendly nations organizing ARI scientific projects and are in charge of international cooperation programs and affairs and is in charge of affairs related to the dissemination of research information, patent application and the transfer of technologies. Farm Management the experimental farm of this institute has a total acreage of 128 hectares, which is considered the best in Taiwan for agricultural research. The farm is completely leveled with excellent soil conditions and is designed with a complete irrigation and drainage system. It is also equipped with various farming machines operated by skilled field laborers and provides services to various divisions at ARI to facilitate their research endeavors. Future Perspective In the era of fast-growing science and technology, Taiwan will encounter tremendous impacts on our agricultural development, especially after joining the WTO. In order to overcome these challenges, the ARI has to adopt more advanced, integrated and global strategies for research to continuously assure its future perspective, which will include one, the improvement of crop breeding, especially in stress tolerance and cultivation techniques. Two, 
strengthening research and application of biotechnology for crop and environment improvement. 3. Germplasm's collection and preservation for biodiversity. 4. Improvement of post-harvest and processing techniques. 5. Development of non-conventional measures and new quarantine techniques for pest control. 6. Strengthening research and production cooperation, technology transfers, and international agricultural exchange. And we expect these advanced technologies can upgrade the agricultural industry and maintain a prosperous development in Taiwan. Thank you.